Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture, we have started that suppose we have the matrix, uh, given matrix and then we want to write the linear transformation corresponding to the matrix and the basis given to us. So, then how we can write that one? So, we have started with that one. So, we will continue that things in this lecture. So, let us start with that. So, in the previous lecture, we know suppose we have a matrix A that is of order m cross n and it is being asked to us that define or find the linear transformation that is T. So, that will be definitely from R n to R m. This is what we are writing here because this is matrix of order m cross n. So, we want to find the linear transformation based depends upon the or relative to to a set of basis. So, this is what we want to do. So, we started with the example and we also know that the from the previous knowledge we know that that A is always made up of T whatever the transformation is there T of the basis we define and then the coordinate of this one. So, suppose I have a basis let I take the basis B 1 that is my U 1 U 2 U n and B 2 is the basis v 1, v 2, v m, then we know that this matrix A is made up of the coordinates of T u 1 with respect to the basis B 2, T of u 2 with respect to the basis B 2 and T of u n the coordinates with respect to the basis B 2. And if, if this basis are not given to us, then it is understood that this is corresponded to the standard basis. So, let us do one example. So, I take just one example and then we will come to know that how we can write. Suppose I have a matrix A that is given to me like 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0 and here 3 minus 1 0. So, it is 3 cross 4 matrix. Now, in this matrix, if it is asked that write write its linear transformation so suppose it is written like this one then it is understood that we are being asked to write the linear transformation corresponding to the standard basis so here i can write so maybe i can write this that first write its linear transformation second is write its linear transformation related to the to the basis. So, this basis is given to me. So, suppose I have a B 1 that is 1 1 1 2 1 minus 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 and in the end it is given 0 1 0 0. So, this is the basis of R 4 and the another basis we are taking and that is 1 2 3. So, this is 1 minus 1 1 and 2 1 1. 
So, this is given to me. Now, its solution. Now, first I want to write its linear transformation. So, it it is understood that it is standard basis. So, if I want to do the first question, so linear transformation corresponding to, to the standard basis So, standard basis means that I have my standard basis. So, I can have my E 1, E 2, E 3, E 4, this is standard basis for R 4 and I write F 1, F 2, F 3, this is standard basis for R 3. So, standard basis, standard basis. Now, from this for a given matrix, so corresponding to the standard basis, I know that my matrix A is basically T of E 1, the first standard basis, the image of that one and I am writing the coordinates of this one corresponding to the standard basis of R 3. So, it will be equal to T of E 2, the coordinates T of E 3 and T of E 4 the coordinates. So, this is the matrix. So, from here it means that the first column is 1 1 1. So, now our matrix is there. So, from here I can write because I know that uh, the T of E 1 is 1 0 0 0 that is equal to. So, these are the coordinates 1 1 1. So, that will be equal to 1 f 1 plus 1 f 2 plus 1 f 3. So, it is like 1 1 0 0 plus 1 0 1 0 plus 1 0 0 1. So, that is the meaning of this and now from here you can see that this will be equal to 1 1 1 because this is corresponding to standard basis. So, similarly we can uh, find out the image of each of this one that will be again the same. So, from here I directly I can write that 0 1 0 that will be equal to the second row second column 1 0 2. So, it is 1 0 2 t of 0 0 1 0 is 2 1 0 2 1 0 and 0 0 0 1. So, this will be equal to 3 minus 1 0 3 minus 1 0 and from here if you see I can write directly this one as T x where. So, I can write for 4 any x. So, that x is basically x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 belongings to R 4. My T of x can be written as A of x and this is equal to 1 1 1 1 0 2 2 1 0 3 minus 1 0 and it is x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 and from here I will get that this is equal to x 1 plus x 2 plus 2 x 3 plus 3 x 4. So, this is the first row we will get then we will get x 1 plus x 3 minus x 4 x 1 plus 2 x 2. So, that is it. So, corresponding to this matrix I am able to write this transformation. So, this is T x. So, that is the answer of the first part that this is a linear transformation corresponding to the given matrix related to the standard basis. Now, the things change when we want to do it for this one. So, now the second part I want to do. 
So, second part let us do that one. So, it is given to me that the base is given to me. So, the corresponding matrix is this one. Now, in this case the same matrix A whatever it is given I want to write in the standard basis. So, this will be equal to T of first basis that is 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 2 that can be written as the first these are the coordinates of the first uh, the, the image of the uh, first vector in the basis. So, it is equal to 1 and then corresponding to the basis B 2 because this is what I have written and B 2 is here. So, it is 1 2 3. So, I am writing here that this is equal to 1 1 2 3 corresponding to then 1 and then the 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 and 1 third one is 2 1 1 2 1 1. So, these are basically we are writing in the form of. So, if I write this as a u 1 u 2 u 3 and u 4 it is v 1 v 2 v 3. So, from here I can write that this is equal to T of u 1 is 1 v 1 plus 1 v 2 plus 1 v 3 and this. So, if I from here I can write that my T of 1 1 1 2 that becomes. So, it is 1 1 2 and 4. So, it will be 4 2 plus 3 minus 1. So, it is 2 and 3 plus 1 plus 1 5. So, that will give gives you the 5. <coughs> so, this is the the image of the first basis that is 4 to 5. Similarly, I can write about T of 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 0 0. So, that would be corresponding to the here the second column that is the coordinate of that T u 2. So, it is 1 0 2. So, I can write it as a 1 v 1 0 v 2 2 v 3. So, that is again the same thing. So, we have to just change the coordinates. So, it is 1 0 2 this one and from here I can write that this is equal to 1 plus 4 it is 5 2 plus 1 7 and 3 plus 2 5. So, it is 5 7 5. Okay, it is 4, 5, 4, 5 because it is 2 and it will 2. So, it will be 4 and 3 plus 2, 5. So, 5, 4, 5, yeah. So, the next is T of 0, 0, 1, 1. So, 0, 0, 1, 1 that will be again equal to the third column 2, 1, 0. So, it is 2 v 1 v 2 0 v 3 and it will be equal to 2 of 1 2 3 plus v 2 is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 and 0 is 2 1 1 2 1 1 and that is equal to 2 plus 1 3, 4 minus 1 3 and it is 6 plus 1 7. So, it is 3 3 7 and the last one is 0 1 0 1 0 0. So, this is 
if you see from here then this is a ordered basis because we cannot change the order. So, this is my I can say that the it is a ordered basis because this matrix is given to us with respect to this basis. If we change the order the column will also change. So, from here I will get this T 1 uh, 0 1 1. So, that is corresponding to the fourth column. So, 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 V 3. So, this is what I am going to get and from here it is 3 minus plus 0. So, it is 3 minus 1 2 and 3, 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 and 9 minus 1 8. So, it is 2 7 8. So, once we are able to find this one then we know that the linear transformation is completely determined by the image or basis. So, that we are able to find. Now, now we take that that for any uh, element x. So, x is suppose I take x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 belongs to R 4. I can write this x as a linear combination of the basis. So, I can write this as a a u 1 plus b u 2 plus c u 3 and plus d u 4. I am writing this as a linear combination of this basis. So, from here we can write that my x 1 x 2 x 3 x 4 can be written as a of the 1 1 1 2 plus b 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 c 0 0 1 1 and d this one. So, by this way we can write any element. Now, I need to find the uh, the values of a, b, c, d in terms of x 1, x 2. So, from here you can see that you will get a system of equation. So, it is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, this is a my 4 cross 4 matrix and this will be equal to a, b, c, and d and that should be equal to x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. So, this is a system of equation and it is 4 cross 4. So, we need to find out the solution because we know that these are the bases. So, this matrix is invertible. So, in it is invertible matrix we will going to get the unique solution for this system. Now, the question is that how we can solve this system. So, this uh, system can be solved by writing the augmented matrix we know that. So, augmented matrix and then so from here I can write again the same matrix only in the last column I can put this one. So, it is and then the last I can put x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4, 1 minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 and this is 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0. So, this is my matrix corresponding to the augmented matrix. Now, we have to convert this one. So, convert to a row echelon form. So, this one we want to do and that we know how to do that one. 
So, now what I want to do, I want to convert this one into the rho echelon form. So, I will take this elementary operation. So, I will put minus R 1 adding to R 2 minus R 1 adding to R 3 and minus 2 times R 1 adding to R 4. So, these things we are going to do. So, after doing this one, I will get 1 1 0 0 this is my x 1 and now it becomes 0 0 0 then it is minus 1 <coughs> so it will become minus 2 then it is 0 1 and this will be x 2 minus x 1 then minus 1 and here 0 minus 1. So, it will be minus 1 and this will be 1 and this will be 0. So, it is x 3 minus x 1. Now, it is 0 minus 2. So, it will be minus 2 and then it is 1 0 and this will be x 4 minus 2 x 1. Now, we want to make this element 0. So, after doing this one, so this is there. So, what I am going to do is that I am dividing it by minus 2. So, I am putting R 2 dividing by minus 2. So, it is if I divide by minus 2, it will be 1 here and it will add to R 3. And the same thing I can do. Uh, now, from here I can write that minus of R 2 and adding to R 4. So, once I do this one, it will be 1 1 0 0 x 1 0 minus 2 0 1. So, it is x 2 minus x 1 now it is 0. So, I am dividing by minus 2 and adding here. So, it will be 0 this is 1. So, dividing by minus 2 is minus half. So, it will be minus half because I am multiplying by minus half and adding here. So, it will be minus half and this will be again. So, it is I can write here. So, this will be equal to x 3 minus x 1 plus x 1 minus x 2 divided by 2 because minus half. So, that is why I have taken x 1 here because it is x 2 minus x 1. So, I will get this value here and in this case it will be 0 0 because I am uh, multiplying by minus 1 and adding here. So, it is 0. So, it is again 1 and it is multiplying by minus 1. So, it will be minus 1 and it is. So, it will be x 4 minus 2 x 1 and multiplying by minus 1. So, it will be x 1 minus x 2 and now, so in, in the end, so after doing this calculation, one more step we want to do, then from here we can find that, that after doing this, I am able to get my A as x 4 minus x 3, b I am going to get is x 1 plus x 3 minus x 4, c is 2 x 3 minus x 4 and d we are getting x 1 plus x 2 plus 2 x 3 minus 2 x 4. 
So, x 1 plus x 2 plus 2 x 3 minus 2 x 4. So, this is the coefficient I am able to get. So, now from here, so from here I am able to get that my x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 can be written as x 4 minus x 3 and it is the 1, 1, 1, 2 plus x 1 plus x 3 minus x 4 and this is going to be 1 minus 1 0 0 plus 2 x 3 minus x 4 and this is 0 0 1 1 plus x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 minus 2 x 4 and this is 0 1 0 0. So, now after doing this one we take the transformation both side So, this is again I can write like this one. So, ultimately it becomes x 4 minus the same this one t of this x 1 plus x 3 minus x 4 1 minus 1. of and x 1 this one and this can be written as x 4 minus x 3 and t of 1 1 1 is given to me that is 4 to 5. So, it become 4 to 5 x 1 plus x 2 x 1 plus x 3 minus x 4. So, it is t 1 1 1 minus 1 0 0 it is 5 4 5. So, it is 5 4 5. 2 x 3 minus x 4 and this is equal to 3 3 7 plus two x three minus two x four and the end will get two seven eight and from here I can combine all the terms corresponding to the uh, components. So, if you see from here, then it become 4 of this one. So, 4 of x 4 minus 4 of x 3, the first component plus 5 x 1, 5 x 3 minus 5 x 4 plus 6 x 3 minus 3 x 4 plus 2 x 1 plus 2 x 2 plus 4 x 3 minus 4 x 4 and corresponding to this one. So, now from here you can see that this will cancel out. minus so from here I just check what is going to happen. So, corresponding to x 1 if you see 5 x 1 
plus 2 x 1. So, it will be a 7 x 1 because the x 1 is coming 7 here. So, I can write here 7 x 1 then corresponding to x 2 is 2 x 2 and then yeah only 2 x 2. So, 2 x 2 then x 3 is minus 4 x 3 plus 5. So, x 3 plus 6 7 x 3 plus 4 11 x 3. So, I can write here 11 x 3 and x 4 is cancelled out I am get only this x 4 this x 4. So, it is minus 8 x 4. So, this is the first component similarly. So, ultimately if you uh, calculate this then I get this transformation. So, T of x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 is equal to 7 x 1 plus 2 x 2 plus 11 x 3 minus 8 x 4, 11 x 1 plus 7 x 2 plus 22 x 3 minus 19 x 4 and then 13 x 1 plus 8 x 2 plus 30 x 3 minus 23 x 4. So, this is the transformation we got corresponding to the basis B 1 and B 2. And if you see from here this transformation is with respect to the standard basis and this transformation is entirely different from this transformation because the basis has been changed. So, this is the linear transformation. Uh, so, this is my L t related to basis B 1 and B 2. So, this is the way we can write the, the linear transformation for a given matrix corresponding to the basis whatever the basis has been given to us. So, we follow this procedure and then we are able to write this transformation. So, I hope that this uh, is the criteria or the method we use to find out the linear transformation. So, we will stop here. So, in the today's lecture we have uh, discussed one example that how for a uh, given matrix how we can write the linear transformation corresponding to the uh, given basis and in the next lecture we will continue with that one. So, thanks for watching uh, thanks very much. Thank you.